set up a, a Windows file server via Samba on an Ubuntu 64-bit server that I'm setting up. So um, again, you know, probably the first thing I want to do is is get Samba. So sudo apt-get install Samba. We'll go out there and grab the Samba package and set it up. Okay, now Pegasus has Samba installed. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up a prompt and gk sudo. And I like to use the gedit text editor. So I want to go to the etc folder and Samba and smb.conf. And in Samba.conf, there's a few things that we need to change. Um, first off, um, look for a work group and since one of our servers is named Galactica and the other server is named Pegasus we're going to call our work group Battlestars. The other thing I want to do is turn on the um, turn on user authentication security um, and so I'm just going to uncomment this line here okay and then the next thing I want to do is set up my shares so I have this down to a low resolution so I can get so hopefully it'll be big enough to see but because of that it's hard to scroll so I'm kind of move this around uh, there there we go all right so I want to come down here and just be careful because the syntax of these config files can be very picky but in this case I want to call this very first share public and the comment will be um, public files shared on the Battlestar excuse me Pegasus on the Battlestar Pegasus which is this server's name and the path is going to be public and guest OK and this means that users will not have to authenticate since I'm setting that to be okay um, they can just browse the folder without having to have any type of authentication account um, not very secure but for just you know public domain type things that you want everyone to be able to access it's a useful setting or a feature browsable yes they will be able to browse the folder read only yes definitely if I'm gonna enable guest access I certainly want to make it read only not just via the Samba, but also via the POSIX permissions. And the create mask, um, you can do what you like. The, the standard is 0600 and 0700, but um, it doesn't work like UMAX, like you know how UMAX um, is sort of the, it, you know, it's, it's sor sort of the inverse of chmod, but in this case it's actually yeah, the, the permissions that you um, would want to add. And, it's read only and I mean, it's kind of redundant. I don't, I don't even need to include this. I could just comment it out or not include it at all. But I guess just for the purpose of illustration. Um, and then the directory mask on directory permissions. And again, it's read only, so it's kind of redundant to do that. Not really necessary. Um, but that would be my first share. And then check your syntax, make sure it's good. And then from that point on, you can pretty much copy and paste each new share because the syntax is going to be about the same but make sure that the path and the name is different. Um, and just as an example, I'm going to make a uh, read read only ext4. All right, we'll call it that. And for the purpose of simplicity, I'm going to make the folder the same name. Now this path is important. It's going to have to match up exactly. So if I make this at the root position, then that's where I, I would need to make it. Now, by default, you would always make things that, you know, in server most services should be, um, you know, at least according to F, uh, FHS standards, should be in, in the SRV directory. But just to show you that you can put it in root or anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and put these in root. Um, now this is read only, so it's going to, you know, guest access, yes, browsable, yes, read only, yes, and I'm going to keep the same mask. Um, I'm going to change the comment.
and I'll change the comment here. Read only shares on Pegasus. Okay. And keep the mass the same. And I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to say writable. And read, write, share on Pegasus. I'm going to get rid of the S there in the comment tag. It doesn't really matter. But okay, and uh, since I've modified the share name, I don't have to. I mean, I could call it banana, but this is important. I wouldn't want to map that to the same folder. So I'm going to make these match, and when I create the directories, it's going to have to match the path. Um, now, in this case, for guest access, I'm going to leave it as... Um, I'm going to leave this as yes and browsable yes, and this would be very insecure but I'm going to set read only to be no and I will modify the mask again not necessary but just just to show you that particular configuration setting and um, and that'll do it for our ext4 examples now I want to do ntfs um, well actually let me delete that and let's go and, and take a look at these first. So to make these directories, what I would use is the command sudo mkdir, or you know, alternately you could open up Nautilus with root privileges. I write yourself a small script to do that or something, but th they need to match exactly right the paths here. So public. You know, I wouldn't want to call it banana and then tell Samba that it's public there, so I need to do that. Um, and read only. ext4. Ugh. And I just called that errad only. Read only. And, th you know, again, be very careful and pay attention to detail when you're doing this because this is where you may have problems if things don't match up. Writable. It's case sensitive, ext4. Um, you know, then you would know. And so let me just get rid of erad uh, and Butterfingers tonight. It is a directory. Oh, use with the recursive option, or you could use remove directory. Okay. And I just want to verify. Okay, so make sure the directory names are the same. All caps, read dash ext4, checks out, checks out in the path. Um, all caps, public, and public, checks out in the path. And writable ext4, all caps, writable ext4, all caps. So all of that checks out. And now, this is the share permissions. You know, so across the network via Samba, this, these are the POSIX permissions locally on the local file system. Just like in Windows and Active Directory, you know how in Active Directory and Windows, uh, share permissions combine with the access control entries on a discretionary access control list or the security tab. Well, you have the same thing in Linux. So that is the Samba or share network permissions combined with the POSIX or local file system permissions. So they need to match up as well. In other words, if I have, you know, write access here, but the POSIX permissions only allow read for the group or for other, then I'm still not going to be able to write in that folder.